Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. I got back from work at about 10-15 minutes ago. I was just downstairs just having a bit of a chat to my mum and her friend Gordana. Well, she's my friend too, I guess. And then I came home to a Christmas card from Georgia. This is my first Christmas card. Well, it says Chippy Two. It's our first Christmas card of the season. So I thought I'd open it up. Literally, I was on the bus home today and I was thinking, well, the bus that takes me to the car park. And I was like, what am I going to vlog about today? <laughs> because I was like, a lot of the times when I get home from work, I'm either editing for something or just, you know, just kind of relaxing. But I finished a little bit earlier today, which is good. I'm actually hungry, so we're going to make lunch. But I want to open up our first Christmas card. So cute. This is going to be bluey. Oh, bluey. No peeking. How cute. Any of you guys that have kids are probably familiar with these. I mean, I love bluey mainly because he's an Aussie dog. So that's cute. I don't have any kids, so I've never actually watched it. But, oh, thank you, Georgie. Georgia is my best friend and Nessa's childhood, by the way, if you didn't know. Which you probably wouldn't know. Why would you know that? Thanks, Georgie, if you watch this. Thank you, honey. I'm going to pop it. Where I usually pop it? On my table over here. I feel like we used to send Christmas cards so often back in the days. Like, it was so fun. My mum used to get me to write them all out. I'd send overseas ones and, like... We'll be on a roll. We'd have to try and time the overseas ones to get there by New Year's because we don't celebrate Christmas until the 7th of January. So we have a bit of time for that, but we do celebrate like New Year's first, like first the normal way. So then at least you try and get things by the first, if that makes sense. I mean, even though I say we don't celebrate, we don't celebrate this to the 7th of January. Like we go to church on the 7th of January and celebrate it then. But on the 25th, we still have fun. We do like Christmas style, like of public holiday Christmas style and just, you know, the, the regular joys of Christmas. <laughs> I feel like Christmas is so commercialized these days. We all just jump on it and enjoy it. Anyways, I am hungry. I've got some bread left over from yesterday and just grab some eggs. So I think I'm just going to make like a cheese eggy sandwich type situation. Also, do you like my Christmas top with the pug? How cute is it? I have my bread rolls from yesterday. I love these chia butter, chia butter. I think that's what they're called. Breads, but I usually love them on the day because the outside is so crusty. And the inside, I'm just looking for a knife. The inside is then not really that soft in these. However, I'm just going to do my usual egg whites, but I think I'm just going to use one side of the bread only because then I feel like otherwise there's not enough egg to bread ratio because these are quite chunky. They're, they're good for like sandwiches, but literally I, I don't have any sandwich items. You know, does that make, look at, what is this Stanzi? I don't have any like ham or salami or anything and I re went downstairs and my mum didn't have any either. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to have eggs. That was... I, th I think actually salami was in my shopping bag the other day. All right, but anyways, I'm going to do the eggs. I'm good with that. Not me and my side profile that <laughs> I don't love, but you know. We get very intimate when we're vlogging daily. You guys end up seeing like more than you normally would <laughs> in my life. Actually, I want to put that yolk in my tree. I like to feed my tree with um, some egg yolks because I don't really like to eat them that much. And the shells too, I feel like it works. And I'm going to use this cheese. It's, I don't know, Macedonian cheese. We call it Kashkaval. It doesn't smell very nice. <laughs> it's nice when it's melted. You know, I love having the tree in the background. It's so pretty. I made my little sandwich. I put the cheese in the middle of the two egg yolk, no, egg whites. So you can melt the cheese because sometimes it doesn't really melt it. And then but sometimes it also slides right off. I'm going to have some cranberry juice. I found these in, amongst my parents' drinks in the garage. I went for a bit of a wander to their garage. Yes, was it yesterday? Yeah. I was looking for things that I could make ice cubes with because I want to, as I said, I want to make some drinks. And I was like, this is a good idea, but there's a lot. I'm not going to make this much in ice cubes. So I thought, I haven't had cranberry juice in ages, so I'm going to try it out. Oh, zesty i already did a bunch of the ice cubes yesterday i don't know how they turned out because I, I put them to freeze <laughs> this couch is a bit of a mess ever since yesterday's try on i try things on then i dump them here that's usual i'm sure everyone has a dumping ground of some sort or maybe not everyone but okay <laughs> all right let's open up day eight let's see what's in the advent calendar the highlight of the day we'll say oh it's a bigger box yes it is 
Number eight, this one actually has a smell to it. Uh, not a smell, smell's a bad word, isn't it? It has a scent to it. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh, geez. Oh, it's a candle. Hmm. Neon Organics London Bedtime Hero. I don't really put on candles for bedtime. I don't think it's a good thing, but it smells okay. Like, it's not one that I personally would get myself. Chamomile, Yang Yang, and Cedar Wood, which, I don't know. It's okay. I'll, put, I'll, ha I'll happily put it on because I feel like it'll smell nice. It says, burn for a minimum of two hours and a maximum of four. I didn't know yet to burn candles for a minimum amount of time, but okay. It's only small anyway, so we might even be able to pop it on now and get some nice... I was going to say fresh air. What is wrong with me? I can't speak. So I just spent the last hour editing just so then I could start uploading today's video because as I said, it's going to take a while. So that is done. I nearly fell asleep though. My eyes were like shutting and I'm like, I'm going to have to rewatch it because knowing me, I might have like missed some things. Anyways, I now decided, you know what? I said to you guys, I wanted to do like a cocktail style video. But I have one like liquor thing that I took from my sister's place. There's only a little bit left. I don't think I'm going to go return it back to their house. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. Let me see what I can come up with. And I want to see if I can kind of film it into turn it into maybe a reel or a TikTok as well. And then we'll give it a taste test. So like, I'm going to try and do it like, you know, aesthetically pleasing. I'm not really good at that stuff. But uh, let's go downstairs because my mum has some nice glasses that I can use that's going to make it look prettier. It is a little dark, however... These ones are a bit broken, but I do like the look of this one. I feel like that's pretty cool. And then those ones are pretty cool too. I like the look of those. Even these little ones, she's got a few to choose from. Those ones are pretty cool as well. I'm thinking this one because I feel like it works nice, like because it's going to be milky. Okay, here's a behind the scenes. I set up the background there. Oh, I don't want to get the plug in the picture, but it's okay. Camera, it's different lens on the phone. We have, this is the shaker. I've got some ice in here that we're going to use in the like mixing. And what I'm planning on using is we have this one, this tippery root. It's a strawberries and cream. A little bit of vodka as well. And I'm thinking a little bit of milk. And then I'm going to put strawberries. I have some frozen strawberries in the cup. And maybe garnish it with marshmallows. I don't know. This is Stanzi's own creation somehow but i'm gonna pop you guys and you can watch me as i'm filming it just thinking which angle are you guys gonna be able to see because if i'm doing stuff here you're not really gonna be able to see it you guys maybe need a side angle so i've got my ring light here and i'm trying to make this happen so i don't know oops i didn't turn on the ring light i don't know we're gonna give it a go and we'll see i'm no professional i don't know how people do this i always want to do it oh but the problem is, see, that reflection of the ring light, if I position it like this, oh, that's better. However, I don't know how it's going to look with me trying to get in there. So I'm using this little wreath, I don't know if you guys can see, just to kind of hide the, the yuckiness of the bench, if you will. You know what, I'm just going to insert the TikTok or whatever it is that I film in here, so you guys can see what it looks like, and then we'll taste it. That was an absolute terrible effort on my... I didn't... Well, no, it mixes in the thing. Terrible effort on my half, behalf. Terrible, terrible, terrible. You know what? I'm... First of all, like, I just made up my own recipe, which is fine. It looks good. It's just that, like, it's stressful trying to get it perfect. I don't know how people do these things. I guess they must go through a lot of products. Also, if you have, like, a... um, What is it called? An island-type kitchen... So much easier because you can put the recording on there and then you could just work with it and I feel like it's a lot easier than me trying to squish in here. But let's give this a taste test. Oh, it's actually nice. I like it. It's actually quite nice. I put a good amount of milk so it doesn't taste that alcoholy. Very nice. I do think, I feel like the marshmallows maybe not near, but you know you need that like cute looking garnish pink with the pink and I like the like frozen strawberries in there. So I feel like the cocktail itself, good. Stands his effort in trying to make it work not so good but anyways not bad have a bit of an afternoon cocktail so i realized we didn't light the candle so we can give it a smell 
these chocolates they were out of date so my sister gave them to me well, i took them from her and i thought they'd be nice as christmasy looking there i'm not going to eat them i took that from my mom here's my new york candle as well but let's light this where can i put you no come on the wick actually looks really good like it actually looks like a nice thick good quality wick which i don't normally notice so over here i've stashed these extra baubles that we have and i'm gonna use some for to decorate the kitchen because i'm thinking you know what that pink corner is the pink corner is fine for normal but not for Christmas. Seeing as I borrowed this from my mum, I think that looks pretty in the corner. I don't feel like that colour works, but all these silver ones work. So I'm going to pop some of these silver ones back here. I mean, I know my theme is gold, but here it's okay. Can't tell. Alrighty, this is what it now looks like. I'm sure you guys will see it in the background. And then I added just this little extra bauble here. It's evening, so the lights are on the tree. Uh, yeah, I reckon you guys will probably be able to see them pretty good. I turned them on and they were flashing. It took me a while to find the ones that don't flash. Maybe because I feel like I haven't really been home. It is dinner time now and I have a lonely piece of chicken, a corn on the cob and some salad. I think my mum wasn't feeling creative today. And you know what? I was like, chicken, I'm going to go get my garlic spread. You know, that delicious one. And then I realized it was in my shopping that went missing. <laughs> I really should write a list of the stuff that I need to get now. So I'm just going to have some hot sauce with the, the chicken. I love the garlic. Just, oh, it just tastes so good. Usually that's what I have. Now I'm like, okay, I have this. I'm actually hungry. I feel like mm, I don't have any tortillas. Normally, like with the tortillas, I can make myself something a little bit more substantial. But that's okay. We're going to have this. Nothing exciting to show you guys. So seriously, I literally did not... Oh, she's put onion in that salad. <laughs> I literally did not do that much today. Sorry, guys. It's probably going to be a short one today. Like I said to you guys, it's probably like I'm like everybody else's life. It's not that exciting. We, we go to work and we come home pretty much. And I don't even have work stories. It was so, so busy like the last week and a bit. Crazy. Today was like such a nice day. I had such a great day at work. It was like chill. You know, I worked with good people. It was actually quite a good day. So I love days like that. It just makes me happy to go in. And I don't know if I shared this story with any of you guys. The other day, I was talking to this guy and he was from Canada. And I was like, oh, you know, I lived in Canada. And I'm like, where are you off to? And he's like, Edmonton. I was like, oh, yeah, I went to school near Edmonton. I went to Westlock. And he's like, I went to school in Westlock. And I was like, what school did you go to? And he's like, RF Staples. And I was like, I went to that school too and like what a coincidence like he was a few years younger than me so he wouldn't have known me plus I was only there for like one year for my student exchange but like of all the coincidences like how weird that that, that person went to the same school in this little town outside of like Edmonton that we were into the same school it was so funny like it was so coincidental it probably doesn't mean much to anyone else but like I love being able to talk about like that time of my life like nobody even cares oh god I got my cranberry juice no one really cares or whatever because you know when you don't experience it so it's nice to be able to share i really would love for any of my family that like i lived with over there come visit me here i'd be so happy for them to see australia and hopefully one of them come out one day because i don't think any of them watch this but if any of you do you are very welcome to come to australia and visit it's that time of the night it is well it's not actually going to bed night it's but it's winding down for the evening my vlog finally uploaded so i popped that up which i'm very happy about it's like what 7 p.m see it took me ages i was uploading it for hours but that's okay it's done and i'm thinking i want to watch a christmas movie so i'm like thinking okay what if i try to edit but like if i'm editing i can't pay attention to the movie but i really want to watch something christmasy and one of my favorite christmas movies is home alone 2 one in new york because Honestly, when I think of Christmas, I think of Christmas in New York. I've been there a couple of times during Christmas, but it's just, it's so magical. It really feels like it's so magical. <laughs> now, I'm trying out this Paula's Choice 1% retinol that Annette had given me. I used up that Drunk Elephant one, that little one, in a flash. I liked that. That was pretty good. It has the same kind of color texture. 
It smells nice though. But yeah, all time favourite would be the Griswolds um, National Lampoons. I love National Lampoons movies, like absolutely love them. You know what, you can't beat a good classic, can you? And I'm going to use the eye mask again because I liked these last time and seeing as I've got a few hours until I go to bed, plus I don't have early morning tomorrow, I do have an afternoon shift tomorrow, so as I said to you guys, tomorrow's video, well I said before, tomorrow's video is going to be pre-recorded, I'm just going to do opening up the advent calendar with you guys, then it will be a pre-recorded video because I'm pretty much working all day and... I don't really have much to share. <laughs> Pop these eye things on me. But nevertheless, actually that's the video that I need to edit tonight. Not, no, hold on, I'm confused. No, this one's going up tomorrow. So tomorrow will be Saturday's video that I'm talking about. Which for me, Saturday for you will be tomorrow. Okay, look at me, I'm, I'm, I can't think. Unless something exciting is gonna happen tomorrow, which is probably not, I'm gonna sleep. Wake up, get ready, go to work. I'm gonna pop on that new lip balm as well. Then we're gonna call it the night. Well, it's pretty much a standard, okay, apart from making the drinks, a standard, you know, after work day, there's only so much you can do after work. Most of us just wanna relax. So thank you for joining me today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Why? Because it's the most wonderful time of the year. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Hey babes, I was looking for you. You want to say bye to everybody? You say, say bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs> You're so handsome. Say see you.